hear about Student Council's annual Valentine's Day fundraiser. And learn how AP Capstone is a quick and easy way to get volunteer hours. Plus, a look into one of Cedar Park's newer electives, ceramics class. All that and more, turn it up because the Wolfcast starts now. Good morning, Cedar Park, and happy Tuesday. I'm Jack Polishuk, and I'm here this morning with Katie Whitmarsh and Madeline Roberts filling in with Abby Martinez. Student Council's annual Valentine's Day Grand Fundraiser is up and running. For $4, Student Council will send a stuffed animal to the person of your choice. All you need to do is provide them with the name of the second period teacher of your Valentine. You can send a personalized message with the stuffed animal, and a Valentine's Day gram can be anonymous. Student Council offer Slava and Dravinov describes more detail on what exactly to do. Uh, we'll be selling them in the cafeteria during both A and B lunch. You'll come over to the little table on the left side of the cafeteria where you'll see some student council volunteers and then you'll pick out which student, uh, which animal you wish to uh, send to whoever it is. Valentine's grams will be sold for $4 in the cafeteria during lunch until the end of the week. So make sure to buy them while they're still available. In need of some service hours, AP Capstone is a fast and easy way to get those hours while helping other students in the process. The AP Capstone program is a two-year course. The first year is AP Seminar, while the second year is AP Research. And the first year will focus on research conducting, while in the second year they will work on their AP Capstone projects. All you need to do to help the students is complete surveys, participate in experiments, focus groups, or interviews. By doing this, you can earn Honor Society hours. Student Kira Plaus talks about her research survey this year. So my survey is about the size diversity in retail clothing. I really struggle to find clothing that I like, but that can also like fit me and make me feel comfortable. And I've noticed that it's a growing issue inside malls and like stores and department stores where there really isn't just a lot of options above large or extra large. You can reach the AP Capstone website through their class of Google Classrooms or the CPHS website. Walking down the halls of the Campus B building, you are sure to met, be met with countless displays of student-created art. Behind each door, classmates are hard at work learning new mediums. Welcome to Ceramics class. In Ms. Lander's classroom, students learn how to sculpt clay into vases, pots, and different art pieces, as well as how to use paint, stains, and different textures to enhance their art. Junior Delaney McClure is a member of this course. Yeah, I would say don't be afraid. Like it's not, you don't have to know anything about clay. You don't have to know anything about pottery to join. It's all just a learning experience and we have access to like all the tools that will set you up to be successful with it. The prerequisite for this class is art one. With course selections right around the corner, be sure to keep this one in mind. And now let's throw it over to reporter Maddie Cooper with the top three things you need to know for today. Good morning, Cedar Park. I'm reporter Maddie Cooper, and here are your top three things you need to know today. First, the Air Force has been court-ordered to pay more than $230 million for a previous church shooting. The shooter was a former Air Force worker. Later, he had multiple accounts of harassment and assault, which failed to be connected to higher government officials as is required. The court ruled the Air Force is 60% liable for this church, Texas church shooting. Next, Build-A-Bear opens its after dark hours for the Valentine's Day season, aimed at adults. Build-A-Bear is close to celebrating their 25th anniversary. Being around so long, most grown-ups have a tacit nostalgia to the brand. The company is releasing stuffed toys with campy shirts saying, I like the crepe out of you and more to bring some Valentine's cheer to older couples. Finally, a high school senior in Pflugerville wins the Community Hero Award for his charitable service. After years of feeding the homeless and fundraising for humanitarian causes and hurricane relief, student Elijah Oakman received the Community Hero Award. He was accompanied by his football coach to the ceremony. If you know an athlete worthy of this award, nominate them at DCTF's official website, texasfootball.com. That's all I have for you today with CPHS News. I'm Maddie Cooper. Back to you guys. Yeah, I kind of thought they like went out of business a while ago. I'm surprised build a still a thing. I, I like Build-A-Bear. I've had like Build-A-Bears for like forever, but they're so expensive. Yeah, I only ever had one. I don't think 
all the other kids in elementary school were like, let's go to Build-A-Bear for my birthday party. Yep, and yep. I was like, no. No, you, and they're like so cool now. You can get like the smelly things in them and like, yeah, so the, the like, smelly will, like thing? smell. What's this, what you, you know like oh. the hearts you put in them? You can get That's them that are so like weird. scented. Oh, okay. Isn't that weird? Also as an adult, Valentine's Day, <laughs> a date at Build-A-Bear is not what I'm looking for. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think it's going to do well, personally. <laughs> And now we throw it over to Jaina Lipkin for the first edition of Jaina on the Street. But first, these announcements. What's your go-to song right now? Um, probably Jumpin' by NLE Choppa. Oh no, you know like Chris Brown Run It? That song I get down to, so I love it. What is your go-to song right now? Um, Lost by Frank Ocean. <laughs> okay, who's your favorite artist right now? Uh, NLE Choppa, Young Boy, and probably like, it's, it's uh, Lil Baby, Lil Baby, yeah. Um, my favorite artist is Doja Cat. Who is your favorite artist right now? Um, Frank Ocean. Probably play by Cardi. That's all we have for you today. Make sure you're keeping up with all of our content, so head over to our YouTube channel at CPHS News. You can also follow at CPHS underscore sports for updates during games. Thanks for taking time to join us this morning. With CPHS News, I'm Jack Paulshook. I'm Madeline Roberts. And I'm Katie Whitmarsh. Remember to make it a great day or not, the choice is yours.